Plastic is a material that without exaggeration has radically changed our planet. Convenient and cheap, once a helper, it has now become a major threat to the ecosystem. After all, with all its advantages, it has a big drawback. It does not decompose. Massive corporations that use millions of tons of plastic each year are trying to reduce this amount. And Adidas has already found one of the most practical and elegant solutions. They turn plastic trash into shoes. How? Find out in this video. The problem of plastic in the world's oceans has long ceased to be perceived as a horror story that environmentalists tell. The question is no longer, is it true? The question now is, how bad is it? Due to these efforts, initiatives such as the Parley for the Oceans are emerging, which brings together entire companies, brands, as well as passionate activists to find solutions to the world's major ocean problems. Adidas is one of the founders of the Parley Project, whose goal was to turn ocean debris into sports gear. Back in 2015, such an idea seemed to skeptics too costly, and even childishly naive. However, the first concept sneakers presented by the UN in the same 2015 together with Parley proved the opposite. The new model of sneakers has a completely nautical look, turquoise color and a pattern reminiscent of waves. The upper part of the shoes was made from recycled plastic obtained from fishing nets. The first ready pair was released with the help of a 3D printer. As a result, 50 exclusive pairs of shoes were created, and there was even a giveaway on Adidas's Instagram profile. It's interesting to know that each pair of these sneakers took about 11 recycled plastic bottles to make. Since its founding, the company has fished out more than 2,800 tons of garbage from the ocean while increasing production volumes of recycled shoes. Between 2015 and 2020, Adidas produced over 30 million pairs of shoes with Parley's ocean plastic. But what does the production itself look like? It all starts at the beach. Not with the company's party, but with the fact that Parley volunteers collect plastic garbage on remote beaches and near coastal settlements of the Indian Ocean. For instance, in the coastal zones of the Maldives, as well as from illegal deep-sea gillnets, the rubbish is then transferred to Adidas sorting plants where it is divided into PET-containing plastic, a specified type of thermoplastic containing polyethylene terephthalate that is easier to recycle, and the remainder of the garbage is sent to normal recycling facilities. The collected plastic is crushed and melted down into small granules, which are then used to create threads which the sneakers are, so to say, sewn. The resulting thread is simply called ocean plastic. Previous shoes from Adidas and Parley were made from 75% recycled waste. However, the company decided to go even further with the introduction in April 2019 of a new model of sneakers that can be completely recycled. The brand has once again teamed up with Parley to create the Future Craft Loop, a running shoe made from recycled ocean debris. By the way, they do not use glue for the creation of sneakers at all. All elements are sewn together using Adidas technology, Speed Factory. With the release of the new model, they plan to recycle worn-out shoes and create the same sneakers again. Nevertheless, this is just the start of Adidas' war on plastic. By 2024, Adidas has set for itself the goal of completely eliminating the use of new polyester in production and replacing it with a 100% recycled counterpart. The company's longer-term vision is for plastic to disappear from our lives for good. And given the fact that Adidas produces about 400 million pairs of shoes every year, there is no doubt about the correctness of this approach. We want to wish the company good luck in achieving this goal. If you are eager to contribute to cleaning the planet, such simple actions as like, share this video with your friends, and write a comment will help promote this video. Which means more people are going to learn about this initiative. And who knows, maybe it will inspire some of you to move on to more decisive action. See you in the next video.